Mo has long been our home, and the boys have been brought up on the island. But when we first moved here, we had no money, no real idea of what we were going to do. But we managed to stay on the island, and we managed to make it work. And for many years, that was my home. Loch Spelvy is one of those unique habitats you find on the west coast. But it's below the surface that you truly appreciate the wonder of this place. With every tide, rich plankton feed is brought in. And there's one creature that benefits from this harvest. The humble mussel. Set along the shores of Loch Spelvy, Inverlassel Mussels is one of many diverse marine businesses that thrive in Scotland. Naomi and her family have been running this mussel farm for 30 years. I've known their kindness personally as I'm moving my boat there in the summer months. It's good to be part of a small community. There are challenges at times finding experienced people, but there's a, a good team here in Berlusa and we're proud of what we do. The community here is astounding. Everyone doing more than one job just to make it work. Despite the distance, all the islands are connected by the ocean and by the bonds that have formed over the years. We're now meeting one man that captures that spirit in music. Angus McCall is one of Scotland's greatest living pipers. And it was an honour to hear him play at Guyland Castle in Kerrera. Piping history goes way back in this area for generations. Some of the stories and the uh, battles and events that these tunes were written, they're still on the go today. These tunes have still been played. I've long respected the fact that instead of capitalising on his success, he's chosen to pass on his skills to the next generation. Angus even taught my son Oscar when he was at Oban High School. Angus's music is all about connection to the past and to the land itself. Our voyage continues tomorrow as we explore the complex relationship between these islands and the waters around them.